Hi, I'm Matt here. So I've had a request from a client on how to repair permissions in Mac. So this is what you do. I'm just going to ask you to go down to your dock here. So wherever your dock is, mine is on the side and I'm going to go to Finder, which is usually far left or, or, or top of screen there. Just click on that and then go up to the top here and choose Go and you'll see the utilities here. So when that opens up, scroll down inside utilities. Now you might have it set up in this view. There are several views. You've got this view here, this view here. Doesn't matter, just so you know you, that you can make your Mac look the same as mine for this exercise. So I'm going to choose this view on the left and um, scroll down to disk utility and double click on that. And it takes a minute sometimes just to gather the disk information. Then I want you to, you'll see your main drive. It won't look the same as mine. It'll say something different. It might have a different size, etc. But what I want you to do is just scroll down to the one below, the main one up in the top left hand corner here. So in my case, it's MacBook and I've changed the icon. It's brown. Yours is probably a silver one and it probably says something like Macintosh HD. So the next thing I want you to do is to click on repair disk permissions. Now this don't be concerned if it just sits there doing nothing for like 10 minutes. It can take that long. It's probably something you want to do, you know, leave the house, go to the shops and come back again um, for the first time. I mean, you know, it's being a bit dramatic, but it may only take may only take half an hour. But point being, you don't want to sit there and watch it. So when it's done, there's nothing for you to do except uh, quit and my battery's running low, low there. Uh, just quit and uh, go back to your work. Now what this does is it just tidies up a few files in the Mac. It's kind of, in the Windows world, it's a little bit like defragging. Um, so uh, do that. I suggest doing that maybe one, once a month. Um, some people are really sort of religious about the whole thing and they'll do it before installing an application and after, etc. and then reboot. And Point being, just do it once a month as a little bit of maintenance and uh, you should be good to go. And it often, if you're having any particular problems with things like with the keychain where all your passwords are stored in the Mac, it can often help just rectify those issues. So uh, refer to that whenever you're in trouble and it may solve your problems. Thanks. Bye for now.